Hi, Pasquale. Massimiliano, how are you doing? Welcome. Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Here at Cafe Gambrinus, we are a few minutes away from where we were filming in the theater at Teatro Politeama. Tell us about this wonderful historical location, Cafe Gambrinus. Gambrinus was uh, founded by Vincenzo Puzzo. He was the first owner of the place and till the beginning was the Grand Cafe, the place where many people from all the world, intellectual people, artists, politicians, came here to make culture and to be enjoyed. Gabriele D'Annunzio was here writing one of the most beautiful Neapolitan songs ever written called Abukella. Yes, it's so true. It's true. That means that many cultural events start around the coffee, outside yeah. from politicians. Gabriele D'Annunzio uh, was the poet of Italy mm -hmm. and uh, he wrote uh, the Abukella, mm -hmm. it means uh, little mouth. Little mouth. And uh, uh, it means uh, uh, that uh, this was the place where all the culture from all the world came here. He had uh, a uh, discussion with uh, Salvatore Di Giacomo, who was mm -hmm. his friend, and uh, he said, uh, you are not uh, Neapolitan, you don't have to speak Italian, Neapolitan, and you, don't, you can't write anything in uh, Neapolitan. Neapolitan. So uh, he decided to write uh, this Marvelous song, song. This marvelous song. With the music and we of have Tosti. All the, the music of Ben Tosti. Christmas time here in Naples, Italy. What a joy to be here and celebrate Christmas. I lived in the United States for the past 25 years and I lived in Italy for about 20 years. But every time I come back home, I come back to my family, but also I come back to certain colors, to certain culture that is into the food. Today I'm here to show you the most traditional Neapolitan dessert. The dessert that makes you understand that Christmas is here. Many of them stay with you forever and ever. I'd like to show a few of them. Number one, my favorite one, it's called the Rococo. It goes back to Greek empire that was dominating here in Naples and uh, means rock. Long time ago, this used to be very hard. Now they made it a little bit more softer, but uh, still a wonderful dessert, very, very, healthy, made with almond. Here you have uh, the struffoli. The struffoli is the dessert that goes back to 2000 years ago, uh, made with honey. I remember my aunt, Zia Nunziatina, making entire tables of this dessert for the entire family. I'm talking about for 100 people. So it was a, a, a mission. And I remember the entire family working towards this one for two, three days. This is the cassata, sorry, typical from Sicily. This is the pastiera, another dessert, Neapolitan dessert that uh, was usually made during um, Easter, but now it's coming up also for Christmas. Then you have a series of dessert like this one called Divino Amore that were made in a convent around Naples. There are hundreds of convents here and where there are nun and priests. And during the short time, during the short Christmas time, they will make special dessert like this one. A little story on this cake. We call uh, just il bottone, we say. The bottom. The bottom. <laughs> or uh, pasta reale. Uh, la pasta reale, the pasta reale is uh, a cake called in this way, is a royal pasta, we say. It's uh, not correct name because it's not pasta, it's not dough. Is sugar, 
is mm -hmm. a, a, a cake made with the sugar. But uh, Federico IV, the Borbone, the king, went to the convent of um, San Gregorio Almino. He tried this cake and asked the nunc to bring each day this cake to the royal palace. So the name Pasta Reale. Pasta Reale. Royal Pasta. The Pasta of the King. I have a suggestion for all of you here in Naples, Cafe Gambrinus, since the past two centuries, 1860, right? 1860. 1860, making amazing dessert outside from the wonderful coffee and cocktail that you can enjoy. If you are in Naples and you want to enjoy this Christmas dessert available just for two, three weeks, this is the place to come because they really care about making them authentic, keeping the tradition from years to years so they don't contaminate what the past generation used to do. They're trying to keep that tradition here so we don't lose and we can pass to next generation. The dessert in Naples are definitely during Christmas time a gift that you don't want to lose. You want to try at least once in your life because if you try once, you will try forever. Massimiliano from Cafe Gambrinus was a joy to share this culture with you. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao a tutti.